Welcome to the Roy Morgan Weekly Update. With little change on the key weekly indicators this week, the latest Roy Morgan survey shows the ALP on 51%, just ahead of the Coalition on 49% on a two-party preferred basis. If a federal election were held now, the result would be too close to call, and either major party, the ALP or Coalition, would require the support of minor parties and independents to form a minority government. Government confidence, whether people think the country's going in the right direction or the wrong direction, was barely changed at 72 this week, well below the neutral level of 100. The majority, 56.5% of Australians, say the country is going in the wrong direction. Only 28.5% say the country's heading in the right direction. And consumer confidence, the ANZ Roy Morgan Consumer Confidence was down 0.8 points to 82.3 this week. This is the eighth week in a row that consumer confidence has been above 80, with an average of 83 during the period. But this is not a good result. Looking longer term, consumer confidence has now spent a record 84 weeks since February 2023, below the level of 85 indicating an economy close to recession. This week, inflation expectations were unchanged at 4.6%, the equal lowest since November 2021. So the ANZ Roy Morgan Inflation Expectations Indicator shows Australians expect annual inflation to be 4.6% per annum over the next two years. Now to employment and unemployment. There's better news on both employment and unemployment in August. Now, over 14.2 million Australians are employed. That's 640,000 more than a year ago. But remember, that's largely due to population growth. Over the same period, the population increased by 687,000. But the strong employment growth has produced positive results on unemployment. Year on year, unemployment is down 1.9%. Now, the latest Roy Morgan headline real unemployment figure for August is down 1% on just a month ago to 9.1%. Roy Morgan estimates just over 1.4 million Australians are now unemployed. Underemployment, that's part-time workers wanting more hours, is also down just marginally. It's down 0.2% to 9.5% in August. Roy Morgan estimates 1.5 million people are underemployed. So overall, total unemployment and underemployment, what we might call workforce underutilisation, is at 18.6% of the workforce in August. More than 2.9 million people. Despite a rapidly growing workforce during the past 12 to 18 months, which has included many new jobs, overall unemployment and underemployment has now been stuck above 2.5 million for more than two years since July 2022. And finally, to the latest figures on business confidence and how businesses feel they're faring and feeling. Remember Roy Morgan measures business confidence monthly, and in August, it was up 6.2 points to 101.3, over that neutral 100 level. That was after the stage three tax cuts hit consumers' bank accounts in July, and official inflation fell to 3.5%. The result for August is the highest business confidence for six months since Feb 2024. Roy Morgan interviews around 1,500 businesses each month to gauge their views on their company's prospects as well as their assessment of the broader Australian economy. Business views about Australian economy's prospects over the next year and the next five years improved in August and drove the overall index up. Confidence in the performance of the Australian economy over the next year increased with 56.4% of businesses expecting good times. That's up 7.1%. 29.1% expecting good times for the economy over the next five years. That's also up one and a half points. In addition, 
Now, 40.5% of businesses say the next 12 months is a good time to invest in growing their business. Again, that measure was up 1.5%. Over the two months of July and August, 10 of the 18 industries that we track were in positive territory with business confidence above 100. The most confident industries are mining with a business confidence of 133.5. Next, electricity, gas and water on 120.3. Information, media and telecommunications on 117.4. Education and training on 113.4 and professional, scientific and technical services on 112.4. At the other end of the scale, transport, postal and warehousing has the lowest level of business confidence at only 80.2, just below wholesale on 81.1 and agriculture on 82.8. Confidence in the agricultural industry has been lower for longer than any other industry and in negative territory, that's below 100, for two years since September 2022. And that's a wrap. Thanks for your interest this week in Roy Morgan's latest results and I'll be back next week to bring you the most up-to-date ratings on consumer confidence, inflation expectations, mortgage stress and voting intention in Australia. Thanks for listening.